A mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a fraction. Over here I've written four and two-thirds, and we want to change this mixed number right here to an improper fraction. Now, this notation, four and two-thirds, is a shorthand notation for four plus two-thirds. So, if I want to change this to an improper fraction, I have to add four and two-thirds together. So, remember, this is four over one, which is the same as twelve-thirds plus two-thirds, and so that will be fourteen-thirds. So the mixed number four and two-thirds as an improper fraction is fourteen-thirds. Now this is sort of the long way to change to improper fractions. A shortcut method would be to do this. Multiply three times four, we get twelve. Add two, that's fourteen. Put the result over three. And that would be the same thing that we would do to get this least common denominator right here. Remember that this denominator is one. I'd have to multiply numerator and denominator here by three. That's your four times three. Then I would add that numerator to the two, that's 14, and put the whole thing over three. So it does, in a way, make sense to multiply three times four, we get 12, plus two is 14, put the result over three. Let's try that with another one. Here I have 15 and two thirds. I wanna to change to an improper fraction. So what I'm going to do is multiply three times 15, I get 45. I add two to that, I get 47. 47 thirds. That would be the same as 15 over 1 plus 2 thirds. 15 is 45 thirds plus another 2 thirds. That would be 47 thirds. Let's go the other way now and take an Im improper fraction and change it into a mixed number. We have 19 fourths. I want to write this as a um, mixed number. So what I'm going to do is divide 4 into 19. Divide 4 into 19. 4 divides into 19, let's see, 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. I subtract and get 3. So what I'm going to do is say this. 19 fourths is the same as 4, that's this, plus another 3 fourths. Using mixed number notation, then, that's the same as 4 and 3 fourths. So 4 and 3 fourths is the mixed number I get when I change 19 fourths to, an, to a mixed number. This is an improper fraction. This is the mixed number. This division right here helps me do that. Four divides into 19 four times. That's that four. And then I have a remainder of three or three-fourths right here. So four plus three-fourths is four and three-fourths. Let's try another one. 428 over 15. Let's do that division again. I'll take 15 and divide it into 428. Let's see, 15 into 42, I'm going to say twice. I multiply, I get 30, subtract, and I have 12, bring down the 8, and let's see, 128, and um, let's try 8. 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4, 8, and that is 12. Okay, I think we're all right. Okay, so I have a remainder of 8. That means that 428 over 15, uh, that Im improper fraction as a mixed number is 28, and 8 fifteenths. So I take this 8 over this 15, that's the 8 fifteenths. So I can change improper fractions into mixed numbers by doing this division right here. Now for the pre-algebra students, I want to look at a couple of problems that are similar to what we just did with these mixed numbers, but they involve variables. Let's add 8 and 3 over x. 8 plus 3 over x, okay, this is going to be 8 over 1 plus 3 over x. I look for a least common denominator, the simplest expression I can find that's divisible by 1 and by x. That will be x. So I need to multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by x. When I do that, I end up with 8x over x plus 3 over x. And that will be 8x plus 3 all divided by x. So it's not a, not a mixed number, actually, but the, the method that we use to, to add these two expressions right here is similar to what we did with mixed numbers. Let's try another one. Subtraction problem. I have a minus one-third. I'm going to write that as a over one minus one-third. I can see that the least common denominator is three. I multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by three, and I end up with three a minus 1, all divided by 3. 
3a minus 1 divided by 3, because a times 3 is the same as 3a, and my standard way to write that uh, term right there would be 3 times a. So there's a look at uh, mixed number notation, improper fraction notation, going back and forth between them, and then a couple of algebraic looking expressions.